This is not a refugee camp. And this is not a temporary shelter. Even though the tent being pitched here may not stay in this spot for more than a day or two. It's a way of life based on permanent movement across the land. In the past, it used to be a source of strength for these Tuareg people of Azawad because movement meant fresh pasture for their livestock. But it all began to change, they say, when colonial France made them subjects of a central state ruled from Bamako. The state of Mali never existed here. And when it was constituted, we were in total disagreement with it. The government started to kill our people and tried to liquidate us. It had nothing for us except acts of humiliation and onerous taxation. Bedouin people living like this represent more than half of the population of Azawad. This silent majority is the first victim of any absence of the state and any conflict in the area. Akli tells me about previous Tuareg rebellions against Malian governments. But he says the latest events have caused the biggest damage to his people. The war has caused hundreds of thousands to flee. And the Azawad rebels accuse Western powers of supporting the Malian government in the name of war on terror while turning a blind eye to alleged atrocities committed by its army. Earlier this year, Amnesty International described what it called serious breaches and violations of international humanitarian law committed by the Malian army, including extrajudicial executions against civilians in the north. Human Rights Watch condemned the atrocities and called for an investigation. On Sunday, a gathering of lawyers from different countries meeting in neighboring Mauritania sounded the alarm bells about the seriousness of the situation. The violations are grave and they are being committed as I speak. I don't know of any present case of mass killing against a particular people that should warrant more world attention than the case of the people of Azawad, who are being systematically murdered by the Malian army. Deep in the desert of Azawad, these are the remnants of a population that has been extensively displaced or sent into refugee camps out of the country. They are clinging more than ever before to their historic way of life and to the only lifeline they ever knew. Muhammad Val, Al Jazeera, Azawad.